us, editor of Arab News, and he's here just at the right time when we are hosting uh, the Saudi prince uh, on a bilateral visit, right? Uh, what can we expect from this visit, and how do you look at the state of India-Saudi relations? Uh, well, look, uh, to predict the future, we have to look at the past. The past five or six years have been uh, phenomenal mm -hmm. in the terms of uh, the um, uh, huge steps the Saudi-Indian relationship has taken. Mm -hmm. uh, this is first and foremost uh, due to the personal, very strong personal bond and chemistry between His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, His Excellency Prime Minister Modi. And um, it's not just the personal relation. I mean, that is a very important uh, element. But uh, what the driving force between this is the ambition. There is huge ambition among the two leaders. There's huge uh, determination mm -hmm. to turn this ambition into uh, reality. And we've seen steps. We've seen the historic visit of the Crown Prince mm -hmm. uh, and mm -hmm. the warm embrace he got from Prime Minister Modi and the announcement right. that were made during right. in February right. 2019. Right. 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 And uh, what we see is the theme of this G20 summit works perfectly well with uh, Vision 2030, which is also about sustainability, prosperity, mm -hmm. uh, and development, not just for Saudi Arabia, not just for the region, but for the whole world. Right. One question about when you're talking about the dovetailing of G20 and Saudi's vision, you know, this G20 summit is also culminated in a, in a landmark initiative on trans-region connectivity. I'm talking Correct. about the Middle East Europe uh, corridor. How do you look at the importance of this corridor in bringing India and the region together what does it mean for the larger region in the world? Look, I have three words as a short answer, better late than never, four words. Uh, but the longer answer is uh, India historically has been the crossroads, mm -hmm. has been a path for uh, trade routes. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not surprising. Right. Uh, as part of Vision 2030 in Saudi mm -hmm. Arabia, uh, it is one uh, of the determine, uh, determining mm -hmm. factors to make Saudi Arabia a logistical um, right. Uh, right. pathway itself. Uh, so uh, it works very well historically and it works very well with the future vision of Saudi Arabia. Uh, the other aspect is economical. Mm -hmm. If you take a look at the number of Indian expats in the mm -hmm. Gulf region, mm -hmm. there are about 8 million uh, Indian expats mm -hmm. living in the Gulf region. Mm -hmm. uh, trade between India and the Gulf and between India and Saudi Arabia is huge. If we look at oil alone, there's about anything between 500 to 800,000 barrels a day being exported. Mm -hmm. So connectivity between India and the Arab world and indeed Europe couldn't have come at a better time, uh, although I think it should have happened a long time ago. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you so Thank much. You. Pleasure.